This program is brought to you through the kind support of the friends of That's What She Said. Support BCTV by visiting bctv.org slash support. It used to be great, now it's not so great, but it's still pretty great. Reading. Eat pretzels non-stop and pot pie no top. More dessert till we drop. Works. Did they really say that? They did not say that. Yeah, they did say that. That's what she said. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us on That's What She Said. I'm so sorry that we're late. We had a few technical difficulties. Everything's worked out now. Um, I'm glad to join you with my friend Jane and Martha, Nicole, and Corinne. Yay! <laughs> Look at that. Jane looks like the great and powerful Oz. <laughs> this is awesome. How are you, Jane? Very fitting. Good. Where are you these days? I am in Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's far. Uh, yes, it is. It's far away. Um, <laughs> and I hope nothing crashes because I have a my my little stand, my little uh, tripod here, balanced on a box of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> well, be careful. Hopefully, nothing will fall. I will try not to fidget too much. Good. Right. But if you get hungry, there is a snack there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, um, I do want to. <laughs> uh, I want to remind everyone that you can um, give us a call. We are live. Our number is 610-378-0426. And you can also tweet us on, uh, what is it? She tweets to me on Twitter. So we like when that happens. And I'm watching the Twitter, so. Uh -huh. Watch that Twitter. <laughs> Watch that Twitter. <laughs> so what do we have on the horizon today? Oh, I see what we have on the horizon today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And this we is funny, I have a lot to say about this. I actually um, had a massage not that long ago, and the oh. lady that massaged me used CBD oil oh. on my back. Oh. I, I, what it's, do we think about that? I use it every day. You do? I do. Uh, um, for um, anxiety, okay. a drop under my tongue, and I rub it on my neck because I have arthritis. It has made a big difference in both areas. Huh. Wow. It's great. In fact, I just sent for another bottle. I just got a new bottle of it. Now the stuff I use is not um, is not marijuana based. It's hemp based, um, but it's um, it's a tincture. It works very very well. And it does. Yes, and I highly recommend it. I asked it, my doctor about it before I started using it to see if it would interact with the other medications, and she said won't interact with anything. Try it. Okay. She said there is a an orthopedist surgeon in Reading who tells all his patients to use it. There you go. Mm. There you go. Yeah. I have a cousin who lives in Washington State, and she just posted an article that um, CBD oil-infused massage oils and things like that right. are now showing up on the, on the shelves of local stores. On shelves? So, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, and it has a lot of positive feedback from a lot of people that it's it's helpful. Uh, I have to say that was one of the best massages yeah. I ever had. Like, <laughs> honestly, like yeah. you know, sometimes after a massage, like I, you feel better, but like not everything gets worked out. Yeah. That time it was different. So yeah. just be sure, I sure if you buy it, that you're buying a tincture. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, if you read the label, has very very little CBD in it, okay. Okay. and so. Probably the best place to get it in Pennsylvania is on the internet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Which cool. reminds me, I need to send you yeah, the link please do. because I take, I do it too with the yeah. oil under my tongue, and um, I just do it for like sleeping purposes, yeah. and it I helps sleep, you sleep like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> really? I really I do. do. That. Same. Yeah. I don't sleep well at all. I originally started taking it for like aches and pains, like mm -hmm. you, Martha, but really, I found like for me. Uh, the biggest thing that it helps me with is sleeping, but you can get different strengths. Yes, you can. like I have a lower strength, and right. you can get very yeah. higher, like much higher strengths. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What about you, Jane? Have uh, you ever used well, it? Well, I like it quite a lot. Um, unfortunately, I left it at home when I when I went oh. on the road. Oh no! Um, I could use it as I bounce around in the bus bay. It, it would make life wonderful, but uh, what are you going to do? Um, I, like I hope the, you're uh, able to find somewhere, wherever you land. I like the little syringe. 
the little oh, yeah. <laughs> it has, it yeah. has the thicker gel in it. Yeah, I just we have just eye droppers, isn't that? What yeah, you that's what I have. Yeah, eye dropper. And yeah. on the flip side to the CBD oil, you mentioned that yours is less marijuana based. There is, you know, that medical marijuana thing that's right. becoming a little bit right. more prevalent, especially There's around a, a here. There's a dispensary about five minutes from my house now. Oh, okay. On um, 222. Across from Arby's new. if you're going into Muhlenberg Township. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my mother-in-law just got a um, prescription for it. So... Uh, you know, if I it's, wonder if it helps. Like, it, I, I hope it does because if if you know, there's someone with chronic pain, and there's someone with right. issues that other medications aren't solving, or the medications to solve it have, you know, higher addictive qualities or more side effects, and there's this thing that could help and not have the side effects, not have that addictive quality. Why wouldn't you consider it? You know, I, I think, right. and and I hope, I hope it really has the I potential think, to help her. I think more doctors. Are going to be using it. I mean, it was just like the. I was really reluctant to ask my doctor about CBD oil because I thought I was going to. She's going to like, oh, no, no, do it. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> so obviously, I think. Well, you can't overdose is. on it. No, you can't. And could. that's another. You know, big topic right, right now right. with opiates and, yeah, and things not, like that. Right. Exactly. It's a whole different exactly. Right. So right. why not same, try right. a more natural approach that you exactly. can't overdose exactly. on? So if it doesn't work. No harm, no foul. Right. That's like the worst right. thing that can happen yeah. is that it may not work. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No side effects. Oh, Good. I forgot to ask something. Yes. Nicole, are you still pregnant? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, just smuggle <laughs> <little> pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> she is most definitely still telling I'm getting friends. ready for Christmas with my bowl full of jelly. <laughs> 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 Belly full of jelly. What is it? The countdown is on, though. Yes, I am officially 35 weeks, well, so technically I've got five weeks left. It is a full moon, yeah, and it is, I think indeed. Corinne can uh, <laughs> it, 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 it up. Um, Anything I, goes from this point forward. Yeah, and, and it's okay. Oh, and the yoga okay. was okay. earlier. Yeah. Well, that was Martha. That I was still Alex. think. <laughs> I still think I'm going right. to go early. We'll see. So you guys should start a betting pool. Yeah. But this is I don't think you're going to make it to your new date. Uh, no, and I don't think I'll make it to the November show either. I think I'll have a child. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, November <laughs> show will be coming to Cole's hospital. Room. Maybe she'll have yeah. a field show. trip to the other Oh yeah, board. I mean, have it. The last one I went into labor at school. Ew. So this one I could go into labor on the show, oh, that would bring be a so whole cool. new level to things. <laughs> I'm sure BCTC would love that. BCTC. Uh, <laughs> BCTP, yeah. there we go, sorry. A We've first. got 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. What's that? We've got 45 minutes. Get to it. <laughs> okay. right. Right. All right, I'll work on it. <laughs> Give me another cookie. <laughs> Have another cookie. <laughs> now, you know... Now, this doesn't have anything to do with babies, but... Come on, bring on that... that, that, that no topic. segue, no segue. <laughs> yes, I'm just going to drop the bomb. You know I love those. Yeah, well, we heard in the news this week about Elizabeth Warren with the DNA test. Uh, yeah. I think what do we she, think about that? She fell right into Trump's trap. Yeah. I can't... I was... You think she was, like, a little bit baited? He played yeah. her. Yeah. No, he played her, yeah. and she yeah. fell right into it. And, and I think it made her look very foolish. You do? I do because it, you know, he's been doing the Pocahontas thing, which is so condescending, and her and DNA ways. that shows that some t relative way, way back, maybe one twentieth of her DNA, which really isn't much that of doesn't anything. Count. Well, I, I just <laughs> don't say. think that. I think it made. I, that's my personal opinion. I think it made she her look foolish. It. Yeah, I think he played yeah. her, and she it worked perfectly. Yeah, I think she thought it would give her the upper hand to say, "Well, I did this thing now," like she he said it. he was going to give a million dollars to something. Yeah, right. But it's it's not how it came across. It was, it was weird. Yeah, it was weird. I I was not I was not happy yeah. about it. But you know that's that's the problem is that you know he he riles people up. And we've all known someone like this right. in our personal life who just yes. picks and picks and picks and picks and picks. Right. And they're waiting for you to, to have react. that one moment to react, happened. and then it brings you straight down. This is not going to get her fans, I don't think. No, I no. Think I, no, I think she her sealed her deal. Yeah. Yeah. I lost and a And that's unfortunate because I kind of always she thought she was well. a little bit of a, of a yeah. hard ass. Yeah. I like that about her. Yeah, I liked how tough she was. Yeah. Is. 
is, but you know, she had a moment. She had a moment. Yeah, she did. What do you she think, did. Jane? Well, I I have to disagree slightly because it's been a point of attack, and I I just keep hearing myself echoing back. It's so <laughs> odd. <awful. laughs> Sounds like a duck quacking. Uh, anyway, um, I just. Uh, Yes, it's a minute amount of Indian blood she uh, gene genetic, genetics she has, but I I don't fault her for bringing that out. Um, you don't think she did anything wrong with that? I don't actually. I mean, we went through years of uh, the orange homunculus, homunculus uh, saying Obama was was not born in the United States, and finally we had to see the birth certificate. So I, I think at some point you have to answer these absurd claims. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That Fair makes enough. sense. Yeah. Fair enough. I would, personally would not ever You wouldn't do, do it? Wanna, no. No, I, I don't need anyone having my DNA on file somewhere. Yeah, no. I mean, it's Bravo. not something I want. And I don't need to. I don't need to know. I yeah. you know. I know enough <clears throat> about my family history to know where I'm from, and that's and all that's you need. That's enough yeah. for me. We have to know enough. Me. We did it at Christmas time. Barry got us each a kit for Christmas, and um, I really was not. I it was not something I would have chosen to do. Um, you did it. We did it. Okay. Um, he his was more enlightening to him than mine was. Um, he really be. wanted to do it. Well, the funny part is that he's been thinking that his ancestry was Holland Dutch, and there was none of that indicated in his, oh my God. In his <laughs> DNA. Um, Same thing happened, I think, with Becca's husband. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just Greek. sort of, nope. but it, I, I feel like you did. I have just no interest in knowing. Mm -mm. And, and now we get these, these little notices every once in a while from the whoever the place was that got our DNA that says, oh, we found somebody who's on your list and it might be a 22nd cousin. Oh and, my gosh. and then they show uh, the person's uh, picture. This and is go, how people get nah. killed. <laughs> yeah. I don't if think I, so. You're getting <laughs> all these strangers coming out. Yeah. yeah. And isn't it true that like you don't own the rights then to the to your own yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, that, which yeah. That's, and that's a little shady. Problem yeah. yeah. about have, all that. They and if you have look the back right at the history to your DNA, DNA in code perpetuity. was cracked and all that. They have the right to your DNA with what? In perpetuity. In perpetuity. They can also no, thanks. not doing it. If an insurance company comes to them and says, Did you find any uh, prohibitive genes in their DNA, they are able to say, yes, we did, and you can be denied insurance nope. because Why? of that. <laughs> and with everything yes, coming out of the pipe, you don't yeah, need that. Not, no, 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 there's, no, there's a, there's a the lot other hand, of fine that's terrible. In those On the other hand, I have um, a friend who is adopted and was looking for siblings, See? and for that happened, like that, that's and, and it has helped solve crimes. Yes. Um, so there's some very positive things yeah. that come out of it. It just wasn't something I, I was. I feel like it's I something about. good if you have a reason. To right. Yeah. Exactly. And it like did. I mean, she's actually like you said she's yeah. made contact with siblings that she right. didn't. Yeah. You know. If you have a reason for it, I think it's a good thing. Right. But there's if you a don't need to. Then it, you don't need to do it. Then as don't do it. Yeah. yeah. Like don't no, throw no. your stuff out no. there for no reason. Yeah. I know I'm a mutt. I don't need anyone to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're all mutts. We are. We're all mutts. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have, I believe we have a video, don't we, from our trip a couple of weeks yeah, ago yeah. to oh, Paisley yeah. and Company. We have some more fun footage, so let's roll that tape. Yeah. <laughs> so, looking at these... Um, you know where the half milliliter is and where the one milliliter is. Half milliliter is that very bottom one. For you, each part is a three quarter milliliter. I just need to see that. Okay. The bottom. Is that so, this one right here, all the way right? That's the half, right? The half is okay. where, I want everybody here, I'm going to give you guys a dry one so you can play with it. The half, and you have to hold them up, this one here for you, Okay. Um, that very bottom line where it's tapered, that's, that's a half. And the next line is one. 
for your proportions, each part is going to be three quarters, which it means it's an imaginary line between those two, about midway. Oh, wow. You can do it. Okay. Now, look at your recipe, and do you have any of them that have just one part? Yes. And that's cocoa. So that one is going to get three quarters, right? The okay. imaginary line. What do you have any that have two parts? Yes. The ones that are two parts are three quarters and three quarters are one and a half milliliters, mm -hmm. which is the third line. Okay. So that'll be very easy, okay? So the two parts go to the third Right. Okay, so this one is two, okay. two parts. Oh, uh, so you need one and a half milliliters. So squish oh, that out. Keep it squished. Go in all the way. Let go. And now one squeeze continuous squeeze to here. One squeeze, not a bunch. So keep going. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze, squeeze. Stop. Perfect. You don't have to push it down in there that far because eventually it'll contaminate. Oh, okay. All okay, right, so that's that one. Jane, I think you that's should name your scent Otto. No, I'm naming it Noir Indeed. <laughs> Noir <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. That's I good too. to do with Otto. But Otto is, it's short, it's four letters, and it's a palindrome. Indeed, and he's dead. <laughs> Out of my mind. <laughs> okay, now, put that, scan it down, hold on to it, and it takes some effort to really pop that in, okay? You want to hear a good, firm snap. And if you can't do it, I'm happy to do it, too. Sometimes we're actually like, just, we just take our palms and push down. It's just do a it. straight down. Perfect. Hear that? Yes. Okay, now. Or use that too. Why don't I get you oh here? I want you to wipe it off and then screw on the top and then you have to give it a good shake. Help me. Oh <laughs> desperate times. One and it. a half. Okay, is... you're almost there. There's one line, two lines, three is this lines. Working? Okay. Um, I'm getting it in. Yeah. That's it, you're perfect. Beautiful. That's good, then you, you, sh you shake it. Okay. And once you've gotten to that point, yep, now the I name. The name. <laughs> okay, what am I going to call it? You have a name for yours already. I don't. You're going to call it Campfire Gal. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, she called mine Grown Up S'mores. Ah. <laughs> yeah, really. I might call it that, Grown Up S'mores. Um, Right. This middle one you want to avoid, but any one of these, you're going to write the name. It has to be this pen, okay? You write the name on there, and then we're going to put it on, okay? Oh, right. And what am put I it on lengthwise. What am I filling now, you're going to fill that with grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. So hold this up to this. Keep this on the ground, uh, okay? And stick that pretty much in oh, there. Okay. And then just seven, eight pumps or so until you're up to the top. And what did you call it? Grown up Grown s'mores. s'mores. All right. Yes. What is it? Scuzzy factor number five. Oh my what? gosh! See what? now that that's part of a collection. It sounds like it right away. So you have to be more of them, right? Well, I'm okay. starting in the middle. All right. Do you want me to put it on for you? Yes, please. Okay. Cozy factor number five. I hope you're going to bring these to the television show. Oh, oh absolutely, yes. Yeah. And, and, and also bring the recipes. Oh, yeah. Bring the recipes, Indeed. like what went in. We have had the most amazing afternoon at Paisley and Company with Joanne. We've made our own scents, so we each have our own individual yes. scents. We you all got a bunch of You will goodies. smell us coming down, and only us. <laughs> We have our unique sense. It has been fantastic. If you haven't been to this store, you are definitely missing out on some treasure in Berks County. This is an amazing store. You need to be here. We've uh, stocked up for Christmas gifts, and, and, we, and our formula is registered, so when we need more scent. Christmas gifts? So I'm not giving my stuff away. <laughs> this is for me. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was so much fun that day. It was fun. It was, it was lots you know, of fun. I missed out on that part because I had to leave. Oh. But I had my family in town a weekend or two ago, and it was my aunts, my mom, my sister, and my best friend. So I took them all there, 
and oh. Joanne did the whole thing again oh. for us, and oh, we made our. So, so we got awesome. to go oh, That's cute. They had so much fun. Oh, my mom did wants to go. Well, she did you make the a new scent? I made a body spray. Okay. And I made two lotions of the same scent. Yeah. No, I made three different. I nice. made three brand new ones. Uh huh. So. Oh my goodness. I had a blast, and and my. It's so much fun. It was there. so fun to watch my aunts and my mom and oh, and everyone go through it. We had a great time. We had a great time. So it's. It was just a blast, and they loved it. I and Joanna's great. Definitely, she's, yeah, great. she's, she's going to be joining she's us next great. month, so don't give yes. birth because you'll miss the fun. I'm going to try to control that. Try to keep her. <laughs> I will either be <laughs> given birth or will not be able to walk. I mean, either way, it's <laughs> not happening for me. <laughs> I will right. call in from home. Right, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to put you on the screen when with Jay. Yeah, I can be on the screen with Jay. When I'm home, we should do go and do a holiday scent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be fun. I yeah. want it to smell like candy <gasps> canes. Right. Oh my <laughs> aunt, the one that was like chocolate. It was. She's oh, like, oh, it wow. sounds delicious. The chocolate. I did a chocolate. Yeah, you did a chocolate and campfire. Yes. What? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That's like awesome. That's that, that was my goal. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> It's great. If you haven't gone there, go tomorrow. Like, tomorrow. Take a day yeah. off work and just go. I agree. <laughs> it's worth it. Well, what do we think about interrupting people while they're on their private time? Like, namely a politician or any famous person, really. Like, with, when they're out with their family eating, what do we think? Whoops, bye. Well, I think the big <laughs> thing... <laughs> bye, paper. I think the big thing comes from recently politicians being confronted in public spaces and being you know, held accountable for certain decisions and being talked to. And but to do you certain... think while they're, like, out at a restaurant is the time for that? I mean, there's really well, no good time, I guess, to, except for when you see them, but... Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, but don't you think that's really the atmosphere that our president has created? created. So, yeah, and there are the no one... boundaries. Yeah. So you get to say anything you want to to at anyone any time. when you want to. Yeah. So, and, and then he's the one that decries it. He's like, oh, right. it's not fair, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's, it's right. not fair because it's against people that you support. But, yeah, if, if that's when you're going to find them, then we, that's when yeah, you're going to find them. we've become such a divided country that people have such... And I don't, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying yeah. it's the product of what has happened. I just heard a, a program tonight where they talked about having met with a lot of teachers over the weekend, and the teachers were complaining that their elementary children are calling each other names and being rude oh. to each other and their excuses, but the president does it, so why can't I? <sighs> and so, you know, like it or not, it's setting, setting a, the, the an example. example. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, no, I don't think it's right, but on the other hand, in the atmosphere that not only our president, but our politicians in Congress have yeah. created this divisiveness it's a normal thing. It's My minus. fear is there's going to be some real violence yes. during oh, around the time of the of the of the election. I think there could really be some I awfulness. Agree. That's I, scary. That, that's a that's a legitimate fear. That's scary. I mean, yeah. it, things are so they're so up in the right, air right now, and right. people are so divided. And, right. And not just divided, but like the, things are getting nasty and personal. Like and you it's get not to even say, about a political no, difference. No, you get to right. say so anything now you feel it's like it. Yeah. Vicious. Yeah. It and is. that's part of the problem. Like if you're going to confront somebody at um, a restaurant or in an elevator, there's still decorum. There's still yes. respect and there's still yeah. a level of with professionalism. Their kids and wife. I exactly. Like you just exactly. Have to be respectful. But you, you do somebody. have the right to approach your representatives because they are your servants. They, you know, they are serving you as in their le position right. of leadership. So you should be able to go and talk to them, not disrespectfully, not booing no. them out of a place, but say, hey, you represent me, and this is how I feel. But I, I, would I think say that that's fair. That I think, though. I the mean, leader of our country sets an example. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And yeah. his example is insult people who do not agree with you debase yeah. people who do not agree with you. And that's not how anything gets solved. It's but not. we've devolved no. to that sort of situation. And it's yeah. just... As soon as you push it to sports politics, you know, where I'm better just because I'm on this side and you're terrible just because you're on that side, you've lost all ability to make any sort of positive change mm -hmm. anywhere. Right. The opposing mm -hmm. side is not always Of course, we are Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Martha, that was but cute. But that's for sports. Except for, <laughs> except for Nicole and Nick. <laughs> but that's for sports. I know, you know? For sports. Right. I, I read this article that my cousin posted. It was like, why Democrats are afraid of Trump. And, it, you know, and, and what I find funny is that, you know, my Republican family and friends post these things. I read them because I think you should read things on both oh, absolutely. sides. Absolutely. And yeah. I read through it and it was a lot of, um, it was a lot of junk. Sure. You know, it was like, they're just afraid that he tells the truth. And I'm like, no, I have a problem that he's absolutely irresponsible and unprofessional. Yeah. And I want the person leading my country to be Whether smart Whether telling me. the truth or not, right. you have yeah, to be exactly. articulate yeah. when yeah. you're in a position of power. You have to be well-spoken. You have yeah. to not embarrass who you're representing. And call people, calling people, especially women, the names, names that he has called women, yeah. are, it's just deplorable. Yeah, Sorry. and if I, if I walked into my classroom and I was like, hey, you dummy, hey, stop yeah. doing this, you're the worst person ever, hey, worst you face. should just drop yeah. out now, yeah. would I keep my job? No, no, no I no. wouldn't. And I would never say that to any student in my classroom. So why does he get to say it to people that he does not agree with? Right. That's inappropriate. Agree. That's inappropriate. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree well, too. Let's get off that topic and just go right to the surprise topic. Woo! Oh, surprise, topic. surprise topic. Roll that video. As I push my butt back into the chair. I just did too. I'm like, <laughs> feel like you got hit the floor. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh, my bad. I need to be strapped into this thing. <laughs> Ooh, camera's on me. <laughs> Corinne's turn. Surprise us, Corinne. <laughs> um, so I thought this was appropriate for the area, especially, but uh, and for the holiday season coming, but um, I was wondering what people's take is on uh, shopping online versus in the stores, because mm. lately we've been seeing a lot of these stores closing. Guilty. I'm an online Guilty. shopper. Me too. Me too. Me too. I'm I not lie. It the next day, right at my front doorstep. Yeah. I don't like it being no. in stores. I don't like crowds. I hate shopping. Same. Same. I'm but no then on the flip online. side, now we have all these stores that are closing. My daughter's going to grow up not knowing She's a toy store, online. you know, and like yeah. not being able to walk around. Toys R Us. Try or, the toys and yeah. Yeah, and I heard yeah. Toys R Us is like opening back yeah. up under yeah. a different. Oh yeah, yeah. Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's toy box. Toy, yeah, because they can't be Toys R Us because that's bankrupt. Yeah. Right. Because the those stores that are closing and not Toys R Us, but some of the others, the general stores that are closing, really never had anything that I wanted to give right. as gifts. If I shop online, I can find exactly find what anything. I want. Yeah, anything. Yeah. yeah, but don't you feel that there's something to be said for? Touching it Browsing. and seeing it and, and feeling the it the and finding it yes and I'm, seeing if yes. it's the quality that you want it yes. to be. If I'm shopping I in love a place that. like West Reading, where there's a lot of boutiques, <gasps> but to go to a mall, I that's no, dreadful. Just yeah. hate to do that. I do too. Yeah. I, I do too. And, and, and my husband laughs at me. stores at malls. Yeah, me too. I can't. I'm a kid of the nineties. I grew up going to the mall. I like the mall. Yes. No. I don't online. either. No. You like to shop online? Indeed. I mean, we do stop at a lot of Walmarts, which... That's what you have, right? Uh, That's just to watch but, people. Come I on. mean, it's, you can go online, you can research a product, you can figure out what people have said last long. I, there, was a, there was an inhaler that I thought would be good because I get a lot of dust writing on the bus underneath, well, underneath the bus. Um, so I thought... A, a, a portable inhaler would be a good thing. And there was this one, it was very expensive, but people had said, oh, this is wonderful. And then I started reading their reviews and they said, oh, it breaks within three months. Oh, so no. uh. if you go into a store, you're, unless you've done that research ahead of time, yeah. which one could, but then why not, if you've already online doing research, why not just order it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I and, I and I feel that for not supporting local businesses. And but that's that's what I think my bigger thing is, is right. that these places, uh, you know, um, Toys R Us and, and Bonton and, right. you know, that have closed, those are jobs for people. Right. Yeah. Now right. where are those people getting jobs? You know, that's, that's in their hometown. Right. That's where they live. That's, you know, online yeah. is anywhere. And mm -hmm. it's not necessarily where these people live. So that, that makes me sad, you know, that people that's will losing have jobs. jobs. But, you know, there must be jobs because I get... 
at my age, and I have retired long ago, <laughs> I get email every day from UPS and from Walmart saying they have jobs. Would I come in and fill out an application? Hmm. There must be a lot of jobs out there that, <laughs> yeah. they're, that they're coming well, to me for, you know. Well, there you go. It's yeah. Walmart who sells cheap items right. to the masses but and FedEx is UPS looking for... who delivers everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's... It, it, they have the demand. And this is, this is what the problem is with the job issue because as automation, as different modalities of purchasing or buying, as they come into play, you're going to lose jobs in a certain other industry. And then mm -hmm. they'll shift. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, I agree with that. And my dad, um, my dad's a developer. He's been a developer, broker, realtor for 40 years. And he's talked about this. He says it's all cyclical. You know, he talks about how there were, you know, like the plazas came and they kind of killed the main street and then malls came and killed the plaza. And now the plaza's coming back. And my dad's newest theory is that like in the future, you'll have a storefront that'll have items that you can see and test, but you still order it online and have right. it shipped in. Mm. I, think and, the yeah. thing, I think the thing that we're limited to here in our area we have a very limited level of stores available mm -hmm. to us yeah. as far as, as chains are concerned. Yeah. So online you know, is just so easy. online it gives you is, more options. Uh, gives yeah. me more yeah. things than I have available. I agree with that. True. I agree with that. Yeah. I try to the, uh, yeah, I try to support a small business yeah, or that's two different. every year. That's different. But, um, All right. Try, well that's try to support topic. a small business, but remember the buggy people were very upset with the horse drawn horseless carriage people. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. There's there the were. March of Progress. That's true. All right. That was a good topic, Corinne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very cool. Good surprise <laughs> topic. <laughs> Thanks. Row that outro. <laughs> okay. We, we this glass speak. keeps emptying itself. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go right like to Martha's magic. rant? Um, do one topic. One topic? Okay. I'm going to do the whole rest of it. That's it. Okay. My rant. Surprise. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Um, something that we had discussed at our breakfast meeting was that the fact that there's a lot of homeless students in Berks County. And I know that yeah. in the school that I work for, there's an astounding number. I think there were 900, 900 and some. some last year Rich. in the Reading School District. Yes. And in Berks County, outside of the Reading School District, there were over 1,300 wow. homeless students. Oh, my goodness. That's mind -blowing. I don't think that even Wyoming has it's, no yeah. homeless students. It's they're all over. And they're the most affluent school. They still have it. Mm -hmm. Right. And it it's presents everywhere. all kinds of problems that teachers have to understand. We serve the customers. The students are our customers. Many of those kids don't have places to do homework. Mm -hmm. No, they the don't have, have, they have internet they access. don't have internet access unless they go to the library or someplace. Many of them don't have time to go to do homework. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's a new process or a new situation that many of our schools are just not used to. And I what made me concerned about this was I read a headline in the New York Times that said there were over 113,000 homeless students in the New York schools. Wow. And that's <laughs> tremendous, but that's an incredibly large school district. So that's when I researched through our BCIU what our, what our stats were here <laughs> last year. It's and, incredible. Yeah, and, and to define homeless, it could mean that you are in shelter, you are you couch have surfing. A hotel. You do not have a permanent, permanent address. address. Yeah. So if you Now, what's going to happen when... Uh, Betsy DeVos finally privatizes all the schools. What's going to happen to that population? Um, Even further underserved. Would she care? I mean... Well, I'm not saying she would care, but what is going to happen to that population? Are I they going to be able to go to school? They're not going no, to probably no, be in school. No. no. And, and, and that's the point, that's, I think. Privatizing the schools will be, I don't think, will ever happen. I'm pretty mm. sure the teachers are going to stick together. I hope keep not. Keep that from happening. Our country is based on, on public education. But it is so under attack. It's a ridiculous. It is. It, it is. is. It's such an yeah. easy mm -hmm. place to attack. 
It's mm -hmm. such a, yeah, it's great to say it was the teacher's fault or it's the school's fault. Well, Not my fault, you know. No, yeah. you can't blame yeah. homelessness on a no, teacher. No, no. That's mm -hmm. nothing to no. do with that. But that, that's, a, that's an insane number of kids. It I is. Mean, I, it's sad. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so, too. And, and then these that, are the ones we know about. Yeah. yeah. Right? How many you don't know about. Well, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly and that, right. And that further creates the importance of free and reduced lunch and, you know, the opportunity mm -hmm. for students to go to public areas for help. Um, because with the free and reduced lunch, for some kids, that's the most that's reliable the meal that they, they eat all day. That's yeah. their reliable meal food. food and, and now many school districts <laughs> are giving breakfast. And what yeah. they've Ready done is breakfast. offer it to all. They're offering that to like all students. Free, free breakfast yes. in the morning, every yes. morning. Yes. That's nice. Yes. You know, yeah, we, does free yes. breakfast. you, you got to meet kids where they are. And sometimes that means giving them the chance to all start off on the same foot. Yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong. That's happening. No, there's, there's nothing bleeding hard about it. It's looking to your future. Mm -hmm. if, you look at, if you look at our students and you don't say to yourself, that's our future, we need to do everything we can to make them all successful, then there is something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Everybody deserves an education. Right? Yeah. 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 You know? yeah, I agree. Yeah. This is a good time for a rant. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having already? <laughs> all right. I thought I'd been ranting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, there's so many things I could rant about. This is just something, though, that, you know, I have this lovely pregnant lady here. Was, you know, oh, I understand you. how uncomfortable she is at times. And I know she's teaching, and I know that she said that, you know, her school understands that there are times, she, most of the time right now, she can't stand to teach. But it, it got me to thinking, and then just coincidentally, there was an article in the paper today that I was reading about, um, and I think it was in Tennessee, a large warehouse that is owned by a contractor, but it is a warehouse for Verizon products. So they have large boxes of phones and things. And there have been a number of women there who have miscarried because they were not allowed, they were not given an easier job, even oh, though they wow. asked for it. And the only federal law, now there, there are some state laws perhaps that are different, but the only federal law that addresses the rights of a pregnant woman is a law that says if a company gives privileges or modified work to other people, they must then give it to the pregnant woman. But if mm -hmm. they don't, they, she has no rights for anything easier. And many of these women who miscarried at work mm. um, had notes from their doctor. Um, the company was in no, under no obligation whatsoever um, to, to change their work. Um, and they were lifting these very large boxes. The one woman said she went in and asked her supervisor to said, I'm, you know, I'm really pregnant. I'm really excited about this baby really want to have a little girl, and the woman said, you can get an abortion because I'm not going to change your work. Oh, my gosh. And, and, and I think, <laughs> that, but that's wow. just wow. women's rights uh, in general in the face. are not terrific in this country. No. They are not now, terrific. Now, if a man went in and said, I have a note from my doctor that says I have a, a bad back Slip and I disc, need to be yeah. uh, on company, an easier thing for a week, <laughs> would they do that? If the company was willing to do that for you, then they must do it for a pregnant woman. Ah. And now we're talking, we're not talking, uh, we're talking about real blue collar work here. Mm -hmm. These yeah. are women Hard who work. really need a job. They're willing to do anything at all mm -hmm. to keep that job. And one of the things, of course, that they could use is um, one of the women that this happened to quit her job and she is now um, working for the Teamsters to get oh, a the union, union organized. Okay. Good for yeah. her. Nice. But it's, it's deplorable. And that the stories the about these women, Verizon said, oh, they couldn't believe this is against everything that they, they, they believe in. But the warehouse is owned by a contractor. And the mm. contractor denies all of this. But they have these women's testimony. I mean, yeah. they have pictures they of have these women. They have what they need. Yeah, yeah. They'll get them. So that's well, my well, rant for today. That's good, rant. good rant. Good rant. That is a good rant. rant. <laughs> That's my 
favorite. <laughs> That's so fun. Well, it's getting to that type of se- that year, that, that time of year that I've been looking forward to all year long is the pumpkin season. I know uh, you guys are like, ew, pumpkin. pumpkin Apple season. Apple season. Apple season. There we okay. go. Me you got me and Corinne back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. You lost me a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. I love both. What are our favorite like fall recipes, fall things to eat? I made my first pumpkin pie of the year yesterday. Excellent. Mm. Yeah. Probably because I won't be able to make one at Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably not. Now. Yeah. But yes, I made my first. I do like a pumpkin pie at this time yeah. of year. Yeah. I oh, just yeah. don't think that pumpkin spice needs to be in literally everything on the planet. Yeah. Like um, cheese. Yeah. Especially yeah. cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Philip said that pumpkin spice cheese. Yes. That sounds awful. awful. I hate right? going to the grocery and store. And yet I'm intrigued. I want to try it. Uh, yeah. I don't. I, I like the whole back wall is pumpkin spice. Everything. everything. Look at his pumpkin. Everything. Pumpkin <laughs> spice Cheerios, pumpkin coffee, oh, it's pumpkin latte. Oh, like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's all like pumpkin spice face lotion. I'm good. Like, yeah. I don't. <laughs> See, I'm the dummy that would buy it all. I'm the one. They market that stuff for people There's, like me. But it's like an obsession. Yes. It's like yes. you either it love is. it or you hate it. Right. And you're like, really? And But then there's the people that are like, oh, my God, pumpkin spice. It's amazing. I love it. And like, you're addicted. There's something <laughs> wrong. That's me. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Do we need to Anything refer you? with apples, I think, at this time of year. Apples. Apple yeah. pastries of any yes. kind. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I do like that, yeah. I'm into mm-hmm. soups right now. Soup, that's my thing. I will do but soup. I do that all year round. Yeah. But like in this time of year, yeah. Yeah. I get... But this is when guess. soups make the most sense. I... I made soup. I made a beef stew yesterday. Yes. I'm making my grandma's uh, ham and green bean white soup this weekend. Oh. It's time Should we be over? Ham yeah, and come bean. on. Well, the thing with that soup is you can't just make a small batch. It's no. a huge batch. So <laughs> right. come on over. Right. If you want the recipe, it's the greatest soup you'll ever eat in your entire right. life. It's Sold. so good. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Right. Come on over. What about yeah. you, Jane? Do you have any favorite fall recipes? Oh, uh, I, I, I agree with the soups. It's soup. perfect soup season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially also now like that it's getting cold. Oh, but I love candied nuts too. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Who I'm a fan. Candy's <laughs> <Candy laughs> good. <laughs> Whoa, we are fans. And then this they is why she so is where she is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right here. I'm I'm eight months pregnant. I don't yeah. have a filter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Nah, we don't need it. Candied nuts. Mm. Candied nuts. <laughs> that's what we're spice. Stories we could tell. Pumpkin spice nuts. There we go. That's that's going to be on the market tomorrow. Right. It might be. Right. Yeah. I mean, just in time for Halloween, right? right. Candied yeah. spice nuts. I would take it. I would buy it. I'm sure they must exist somewhere. Probably. Probably. Oh, I'm sure. oh uh, no doubt. Yes. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Halloween, like, is Halloween getting crazy? Is it a little yes. bit? No. You know, I love I, that no. more people love are Halloween. decorating. I really? agree. There's, oh, yes. If you go, oh. so well, the way I take much? my son to daycare, oh, too. there's a house that they do it for Christmas, too. But for Halloween, they're on the corner. It's like right before uh, Reading Museum. The corner. And yeah. they, I mean, it's the whole thing. And it's lit up and I there's a skeleton waving in the front. My son loves that house every really? day. I so wish I had the energy pe- to decorate I know. Like that. Yeah. I, I want love to, those no. people. I love those people. Me too. They make I it can. fun for I my kids. I live kid. through them. Yeah. I, I love it. I love lights because it's getting dark faster. Right. I love lights. I love that kind of stuff. Throw I up just, all your Halloween decorations. I just feel like it's one of the last few holidays that's just truly the holiday. It's you know, right? Right. 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 It's right. it. It's always been a commercial holiday, yeah, right? right? It's always Nothing a commercial holiday. So that it's doesn't change, candy, right? Costume. We haven't changed the tradition. We haven't changed what it is that we do. You know, we get de- we decorate, we get dressed up, we pass out candy, right? right? Yes. We didn't lose the meaning of Halloween because Halloween is there you all go. fictional yes. anyway. Right. Yes, exactly. perfect insight. Right. Yes. I agree. So it's just fun. And right. Right. we've like, done the Halloween now we, we've this is our first Halloween broadcast without Halloween costumes. I was oh, thinking of that today. Oh my right. goodness. I didn't that's know right. we could I totally forgot about that. It. Oh. We have broken our tradition, <laughs> ladies. We must pick it up again next year. We will. We will. Maybe. <laughs> we will. We'll will. dress up for the Christmas right. episode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have costumes We'll all come as turkeys on Thanksgiving. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <I'm down. laughs> that would be fun. What what news source do do we rely on the most? I know Nicole said she reads everything, which is good. 
Well, if it, I mean, you should. I, I, you know, if there's somebody putting something out with, a, with an opposing view, I try to read. I try to read it. You want to see both sides all of the story? Online? You yeah, your news mostly online? online. But in the mornings, I like to listen to NPR, BBC. Um, Do you read any paper? Um, not much anymore because I just don't have time to acquire the paper and do it okay it's easy for me to sit on my phone and, and scroll yeah. up so uh, that, that's where I but I do read New York Times um, Washington Post, Post. Okay. Um, NPR yeah. BBC that's where I get a lot of my stuff from I think as long as you have a balance I mean yeah. I think people who get there who get all their one news news from source. one source, one source. Yeah. or if I hear people getting their news on Facebook I want to gag. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry. It's just not the place to get your news. No. No. It's no. Not get no. any and, kind of news um, on there. Fake news. But you know what I also worry about? People who don't know what's happening locally. I know, <coughs> I know our Reading paper has got a monopoly and it has a lot of faults, but it is a local paper. And I have friends who have no idea what's going on in Reading. And they'll say, oh, well, it, it's all bad news. It's all about shootings. Yeah, but that's what's happening in your city. You need to know about that. You should know so about you it. you really yeah. ought to know about it. So I really, you know, if you're not reading the paper, and I have the luxury of <coughs> reading it at breakfast, which I love to do. But if you don't have that, at least look at it online or do something so that you know what's going on in our community. It just seems to me that that's where we, our interest ought to start. Right. Well, I think that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, I just think that this day and age, but like you said, you can read it online, but this day and age, I think a lot of people just don't read the no. paper. No, BCTV they don't read. Website. No. Yeah. Print media is really going. Exactly. <coughs> really I mean, I just got a telephone book delivered to the front door. <laughs> I did. And I, threw, <laughs> yeah. I threw it right in the trash can. Yeah. I never look at them I'm like, anymore. why do they do this anymore? Yeah, like, how do you do this? Stop? I can look tiny. any <laughs> number up. I, they're all yeah, tiny. really small. Really small. But I'm like, I can they look any number so up on big. my phone. Right. Yeah. Three minutes. Oh, oh my goodness. So already. She ever used to look at numbers in the phone book and prank call them. Do we yeah. have any, any sort of plugs or yeah. anything that we want oh, to talk about? Oh, I have about? a couple. Um, so two of them, actually. Um, uh, you guys know this, but sad news. My sweet 17-year-old baby girl, Velvet, my beautiful kitty cat, she passed on Friday. And it was uh -oh. very, it's was very. it been very hard for all of us. Um, but we had some food and stuff left over. So I contacted um, Sarah. And she said that um, ARL will take mm -hmm. donations. But I just saw that ARL has like over 500 cats right now. Oh my yes. so gosh. So please, support your, yeah, please support your local shelter. Look at maybe finding a baby to bring home a new fur baby. So there's that one. And or an older no cat. Yeah. Yes. And so I will be donating all of my, my sweet baby girl stuff right. this weekend there to hopefully make some other kitties happy. So there's that. And then second of all, Twin Valley High School is hosting the third or fourth annual Haunted Hallways uh, on Monday, October 29th, so a week <laughs> from today. It's awesome. I think there's a $5 cover charge, but for that, you get to walk the whole halls of the school. Every club is setting up games, um, you know, activities. There's going to be a petting zoo. The Theater Arts Club is doing a big haunted area and a dance party and the kids are going to be teaching my kids are going to be teaching your kids how to dance so think about coming to join it it's it's a lot of fun my kid will be there um join us it's it's nice safe trick-or-treating okay. so that those are my fun. what day is that monday october 29th from 5 30 to 7 30 but if you go on the twin valley website you can find it excellent so join us do we have any other plugs one minute oh my goodness i, I just like quickly to say as a friend of the transgender community, that the recent news of Mr. Trump's administration's mm. uh, uh, changing of the rules, the wording of what the description of gender is really offensive. Yeah. Um, and I'll leave it at that. We can discuss it at the next. It's that's actually going to be my <laughs> rant, but I didn't know where to stop with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We can discuss that another time. Yeah. All right, we have one minute left. Oh my gosh, since it went fast, it, it went fast. fast. We yeah, started went late. Fast. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's true. that, but still, it, we had some technical difficulties, but we got it. Jane was we here. Did. With we us. did. Oh, Jane, it's yes. wonderful it's been great. to be with you. Good. It's always wonderful <laughs> to have you, and we're glad you can join us. And I like this fancy new frame. I think that's kind of better yes. than that. <laughs> it's yes. a good look. Yeah, it's a good look. Yes. <laughs> I like it. So, well, when is that next one? Our next show is on Monday, November 26th at 9 p.m. 
And um, we want to thank our crew, John, Joan, and John. Wow, <laughs> that was hard to say. <laughs> and BCTV. We want to, and we want to thank all of us because, like, it's been yeah. a lot of fun. I'm glad I'm for being thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. I always enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. We always enjoy it too. <laughs> it's been a good day. Right. And so our next show, in November, that'll be our Thanksgiving show. We won't have Nicole because hopefully I'll have a baby. Nicole have had, yeah. <laughs> and then after that, I'll be able to sit in these chairs and not slide out of them. I just see because you slid like, out of a oh. chair after David. <laughs> We'll find out. <gasps> Nothing, <laughs> nothing's comfortable. Um, no, no, no. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>